Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. This video is going to be about my Chanel journey, how I ended up with not just one pair, but two pairs of Chanel ballet flats, how I got here, why I picked these, what sizes, what I think of them, how to get them. I want to cover a lot here and not just kind of like an informational video. Also emotionally like what I went through with these and I don't know why it was like a lot for me but I just want to share that with you so stay with me. So some backstory about my chanel journey i guess i started working with an amazing sales associate at neiman marcus she is like literally the best she keeps me up to date on um, everything that comes out specifically the chanel shoes which are really hard to find she's like a miracle worker for me i've worked with personal shoppers before that are independent pay an extra fee for them and they can find you whatever you want What's amazing about working with this person is that she works for Neiman Marcus, so I don't have to pay like any extra fees or anything. And she is just like, like we text, like she is just like the best. I love her so much. I first started deciding that I wanted the classic colorway, the beige and black leather shoes and i was like all right yes i decided that i want them i've tried them on like maybe once before in the store and i was like i don't remember like what size it was i just decided i really would like these so my associate told me that they only had one size available left and that was size 38 and i'm typically a true to size 38 in shoes in general but you know that changes with every particular brand and definitely I don't want to say definitely because I have Chanel shoes that are that size and then I've tried on other ones that are not so whatever so she said that they typically run true to size so to break off on a tangent because this piece is really really important here from my experience and from my research everybody I've talked to and everybody I like I've tried to like deal with this about Chanel ballet flats fit everybody differently and that's for kind of two main reasons one reason everybody likes to wear their ballet flats differently they do stretch out as what i'm told some people like them maybe a little bit tighter some people maybe like them a little bit looser i think it's really a preference on how people like to wear them that's my thinking is for one of the reasons why everybody will tell you a different way that the shoes fit the other big reason the second big reason is because the chanel shoes are handmade and every chanel pair could be different slightly different than another pair um i'm gonna leave you with that because if every shoe that's kind of coming out of the manufacturer the brand is gonna be a little bit different then yeah, I don't know what to tell you about what size. This is my experience, what I went through, this emotional roller coaster of like what to do. So they first came out and the 38, I got them and my sales associate was like, they fit true to size, like they should be good. And I sat with them at home and I was like, these are a little tight. And I really loved them. I knew that they were like the only ones available. And I tried really hard to try to make them work and at the end of the day they just felt too tight i know i wasn't gonna be comfortable no matter how much i love them so i sent them back and i was like you know what maybe you know it's not meant for me then i decided to stop in a chanel store in soho and just try on see if they had any sizes and just try to try some on now so i went in and they had this style of it, I was like, okay, I know I'm probably going to be a 38 and a half. Like, 38 and a half is going to be my size because they fit kind of tight and I need them like a little bit looser. So I go in and I was like, hi, do you have a 38 and a half at anything? And they come out and she's like, I only have these. And I was like, well, these are kind of perfect because how I want to wear these specifically for is for work. I wear like all black and I already have a pair that's similar to this that's like very old and I thought this would work and I was like okay that's great perfect I try them on and I was like yeah I think they're fine I don't know and she's like yeah they're good and I was like cool great I take them home and I'm like uh first of all by the way I ordered them to be shipped to my house because when I have shoes shipped to New Jersey I do not pay taxes on them which is amazing 
I was feeling like they were too tight again. And I'm like, how is this possible? I tried the 38, they were too tight. Now I'm trying the 38 and a half. And now if any of you guys know Chanel shoes, like <laughs> pretty well, then you probably already know where I'm gonna go with this. If you don't, here's a bit of information. Apparently this style with the quilted actually runs apparently smaller than the regular just leather ones so I found that out because I was going into like other Chanel stores and asking around and they were like oh yeah duh didn't you know that these run smaller and I was like oh okay so I've also got the wrong size again and I couldn't try the size up now a 39 in any store because everybody's like oh they're all sold out like you can't get them, you can't try them on, whatever. And I'm like, again, really wanting to make these work, really trying, and I'm like, what the heck? This is like getting to be a bit ridiculous. <sighs> so I was like having a little bit of like an emotional breakdown. I know it sounds so stupid, but like you guys are here, I'm here, like we care a lot about shoes, so like excuse that. But I was talking to my husband and I'm like, just, I don't know what to do. Maybe it's just not for me. Like, I don't know. So then after I come home from trying to go to all these different Chanel stores, I tried Saks, Bergdorf's, and a Chanel store. I tried three different stores in New York and I was like, felt extremely defeated. I was exhausted. So I returned the 38 and a half in the black shoes. Let me try my Sil Associate again because I know shoes come in, they sell out, but then they get new shipments, whatever. I was like, let me try her again because this has now been a couple weeks, maybe a month or so from the original time I ordered the shoes. I text my sale associate and I was like, hey, sorry to be annoying, but like if any chance you have this in a 38 and a half and this style in a 39, let me know because I'm interested. She's like, I have both. And I said, you can go ahead and send those my way. <laughs> I feel like emotionally drained from telling this story because it's like it brings up a lot of emotions so i was able to get this pair first they arrived the other colorway was not shipping it took like a month or whatever i've been trying them on and i was like all right these are good i felt comfortable about them i was able to wear them to work and i'm like cool they're good and then i was like all right cool i'm gonna keep these and because this colorway is probably not gonna ship maybe they don't have it or whatever then i can just make my decision easy for me i wanted to make sure that i could at least try the sizes at this point because i couldn't try them anywhere these eventually come and i was like i don't know i think they also fit so here's the thing here's like a big difference about these two for me so these i got in a size 39 if you remember they fit potentially a little bit smaller because of the quilted Bigger upper. They do feel a little bit big on me and I was like, cause like now I'm like all in my head about the sizing cause I went through so much. I'm like, are these too big on me and are they gonna stretch out more and then be just like gigantic on me? And then these, these are a 38 and a half and I'm like, are these too tight? And are they gonna stretch out and be like perfect? Or are they just gonna be too tight? always and i'm like i don't know so i kind of decided to keep both because why not no i'm just kidding um i decided to keep both because i wanted to do a little experiment for me maybe for you if you're interested to see like what happens with these so i'm gonna see really how much they truly stretch out apparently these stretch out like a lot i don't know how much that's gonna make a difference for like wearing them if they're gonna get comfortable more comfortable over time and then see if for whatever reason one of these or both or whatever don't work out i can always just resell them because they are so hard to get probably not get all of my money back because i've worn them at that point but at least i can resell them if one of them doesn't work out so now i'm going to talk about some general interesting pieces about it the bottom of these are this like black harder leather so i did not get these soles redone even though i feel like i still should but i did not maybe yet maybe i will but i really only wear them in the office like i will wear different shoes to the office and then change into these when i get there and then i'll just wear them around and my office is like carpeted the bottoms look actually like pretty good 
for me wearing them quite a bit. So far, they're pretty comfortable. I feel like they're not really gonna stretch out. I hope this, I hope this front top, the cap, which is like leather, I hope it stretches out a little bit more to like just be like super molded to my foot. But like, so far it's okay. I wore these for the first time today actually, and I got the sole reinforced before I wore them ever, so. I had this rubber put on for the, for the front half. They said I didn't need to do it back here, which is interesting considering it's like whatever, but apparently they wait till this comes down to a certain point and then they'll reinforce it again after that point. So I guess like here has more room to give versus like here it doesn't. So this is like a suede leather. I don't know if you can see. They said I didn't, they only need to do up here because this isn't gonna get touched, which it looks like they were right because this looked the same as this. And as you can see, they look very different from one wear outside. They seemed pretty comfortable and I'm gonna just like take a journey and see how they go. I have no idea like how everything is gonna go. I feel like they'll be really cute for like fall and maybe a little bit into the winter a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. And I'm excited to give an update once I get more of a conclusion on my little experiment here that I'm doing. I hope this is helpful for you to one, know a little bit more about these shoes that it is hard to know. If you're planning on buying these brand new, they could be a little bit tighter. If you're planning on buying them pre-owned, they could be a little bit more stretched out and could be like worn in to be a little bit more comfy or like their true size that they will, like, will be. I'm guessing. One more thing to note, they came out with a new pair that has like the patent, so it's like plasticky, you know, it's patent on the cap toe. Um, and apparently those do not stretch out like these leather ones do. So you should get a smaller size there. Oh, one thing also, this pair is more expensive than this pair. I can give you the prices right now, but they could change all the time. So anyway, I hope all of my journey here was really, really helpful for you. Know that the sizing is really tricky and it's not you, it's the shoes. <laughs> it's not your foot. Um, oh my God, one thing I learned also about this, through this process, sorry, I just keep going off on tangents, is that my one foot is bigger than the other foot and I've never noticed that ever before. It's like so slight. I want to say it's like half a size, like half of a half size, so a quarter, I guess, bigger than the other one. So it's like so slight that I noticed it like immediately in these shoes and like, ugh, honestly, it's a journey. But my sales associate told me that's very common. I'll keep you updated as things go. I think I need to do like a an update on some of my shoes. I see that there's like always questions on some things and people want to know like how they've held up and everything so if you're one of those people and you've seen one of my other videos like let me know because I'm gonna try to actually do I think an update on a few of my items that got some questions so thanks again for listening and staying with me um it's taken me a while to want to make this video because it's been like super emotional but I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos or want to see some of the other stuff that I have out there around my purchases make sure to like this video and subscribe and you'll get alerted every time I do post a new one which is not that frequently so it's good to subscribe so you know. Alright hope you guys have a great day.